going to be doing a landscape in soft pastels. I have a set of 24 piece of uh, various colors of chalk. I also have soft pastel pencils for more detailed work. This is the landscape we're going to do. Let's get I started. I generally start with a mat over the area. Just lightly mark the four corners with a pencil. This sort of gives me approximate dimensions of where I want to keep my painting or my picture in. We will go outside those boxes slightly, but for the most part, that'll be our frame. Gonna start with the palest blue. Gonna start in the sky area. And keep in mind, I want to have clouds, so I'm going to sort of go around areas where I believe the clouds will be. And I'm going to take slightly darker blue and work sort of above that. And I'm going to take my darkest blue more towards the corners and a little across the top. Then basically I'm going to take my fingers, start with the lightest areas. Remember those cloud areas. And we're just going to sort of blend those colors together. depending on the look you're trying to achieve, the more you rub, the more blended, softer it's going to look. Okay, I do have paper towel to keep my fingers somewhat clean. I'm going to take pinkish color. Instead of rubbing it on, I'm just going to rub my finger across it and just add. And my finger still got a little bit of the blue on it uh, along the bottom of where those clouds are. And just give it a little pink glow in the sky right towards the horizon. I'm going to take my just my basic white. Gonna work the top of those clouds a little bit, sort of. Give them a little fluffy top here. You can 
sort of bring them out a little bit. Yes, a little light blending. Let's do the other side. it across a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take that medium blue that I used on the sky. Just, just sort of draw in a basic mountain shape. You don't want them all the same height. just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna take sort of, oh, it's a little bluish green. I'll just, on the shadow side. I'm gonna do some white. Here on the highlight side, and then I'm going to do some blending. I'm bringing some of that blue onto the highlight side. I don't want snow on my mountains, but I do want it paler than the shadow side. Sort of a, almost a purplish blue. Yeah, a little. And I think I'm going to bring that one in front of the other one. And let's work that. down in front. reflected on. Not a lot, just, just showing the, some of the reflections from the sky down on the mountain. I'm going to take the white and kind of work it in on the highlight side, get my highlights back in there. It's just a little mountain. There. You can see where I put the pinks. It's almost 
also a little lavender between the blues and the pinks. And I think I'm gonna add just a little highlight here, a little light hitting that side. Let's get rid of that hard line there. That one in front. gonna kind of lose a little bit of the top lines here. I'm really, really rubbing now. Just kind of fading, fading those mountains out in the background. Now I take a Oh, medium dark green. And just along the bottom, I'm going to put some tree line. Just kind of little strokes. And I can even have some kind of going like they're going up the mountain get some up here in front too all right let's get over here we'll have some trees going up this mountain and along the base Run a grass line underneath it. And let's just I'm just lift a little. Just one direction I'm kind of smudging them out a little bit. They're off in a distance. Yeah. Take a slight darker one. Just here and there put some shadows. take the white and I'm going to get a corner just so I highlight a little bit here and there I'm going to bring some of that color down just rubbing Straight down from there. Almost like you're getting reflections. You're gonna have some water below there. I don't want a lot of color down there. Now I'm gonna go back to that little blue that I used in the sky and just sort of straight across, work my way down. I'm going to add some water. Well, I don't know how far that water is going to go, so we'll just put that right down here. And maybe over here. Start rubbing across. That one you can sort of bring it back up to the tree line here, but... Just looking for some color. I don't 
I want to cover up all the white. I want some highlights in the water where the light is hitting it. And I'm going to take some of that pink from the sky. Just add a little here and there. Where you think it's going to be reflected down from the sky. Look at the original right here. We're going to have these tall trees on either side, a little walkway here. So let's get started on those. I'm going to start with my darker green and sort of figure out where I want the trees. There's going to be one there, or maybe one here. Let's go with her little bit lighter green here. I'm just gonna work my way back and forth. Every now and then put a little line in where you might see it. Look like it might be a trunk or something. I'm gonna bring that down here. Same here. If you lose your top, you can just add a little, little taller tree. And I'm going to bring that right out to the edge of the paper or the edge of the where I'm going to be stopping my okay just lightly on the top and then just go down sort of blend it out a little bit Take my darker colors. Don't lose all that light. You don't want to cover up all the light colors. You want to have some contrast between light and dark. And then a little bit. Bring that out in the water. Maybe some grass is growing out there. And there's a shadow under the tree. This I'm very, very lightly just kind of smudging some of the harder lines out. And then this I will bring it out in the water. And need some lighter greens. I'll bring this down. The sun's hitting here a little more. And you can add some darks in there. Some of the color of my hands and bring a little bit of that down in the water across. Same here. Okay, then I'm gonna add some more darks. You can see I'm outside my line here, but that's fine. When I then I'm gonna add some lights. Bring it right out to the middle. I'm going to this corner a little bit with the medium green. Oh, 
I'm doing now is just basically laying down color for the grasses. We're going to add some bushes, some grasses poking up. work the other side and see where our first tree is. How about right there? And same thing, back and forth. And sort of almost a curving. We'll put a little line in there now and then. As if the trunk's showing through. That one we're not going to go too far. We're just going to go slightly below the line we have back here, the tree line. Let's see. Oh, let's do a big one here. Same thing, back and forth. Hitting and missing here and there. in case we decide to go frame out further. All right. Just a slight blending. Pour down here. Okay. We're even going to add a few, just a few highlights here. And there. And this is a little bit of yellow. is popping up there. And maybe, oh, let's join those two together. There we go. I'm going to take sort of a middle brown. Start here. Start putting that path on. Keep it small in the back and then wider, wider as you come forward. Sure. Where it wanders, but it's fine. I'm gonna take some darks. Okay. Same thing. Do some blending. Keep it a little darker in the back. Got shadows coming off of those trees. Okay. And we're gonna go back to our greens. Just sort of a 
grasses, little areas growing up here. side. Right here looks like a good spot. Okay. Oh, I think maybe it's down this corner. We're dark in it. Some grasses. Okay. Let's get a little little bit of the yellow horn put a few streaks where the sun might be hitting we darken this a little looks good Okay, so we got our basic painting. Now we just need to add some details. So for details, we can start lifting up some grasses here. And you use the little corner just underneath a little bit. Some yellow highlights, just barely touching. I can even take a red. It's going. Okay. Just a little color there. Maybe a little bit of the green underneath. Just tone it down a little bit. And we'll write one there. If you're going to put red here or something, we need to have in a couple other places. So let's add some over here. Yes. Here and there. I'm going to go back. Oh, to my blue. I'm going to put a water line under here. I'm gonna just kind of. Oh, it's slightly darker. Make it look like this. And even in the background back here, I'm gonna kind of. Do a little line separating. Pull that down a little. I've got my pencils here. Some of the whites. Pull the lines through there. highlights. Okay. Let's maybe add, oh, I don't know, a bush over here. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to blend a little bit. And I'm going to use my highlight color to Leave the top, the one on that one, just add a blend out the bottom. Maybe put a little shadow under it. Let's pull that up a little higher. There we go. Over here, I'm going to add some more grasses. Highlight 
something to this push out here. Catch a little sun. All right. You can also use some of your pencils. Bring up some grasses. And get a little more detail with those. a little tree here. I think we have that in the original one. Just sort of bring it down here. Let's see. It's not going to look exactly like the other one. Why? We're not trying to copy it exactly. Let's get that trunk a little wider. Take some darks. And just sort of well, let's get a branch coming out here. I've also can you take your paper towel, just kind of roll it on the end. Do a little blending. And I'd like to put a little bit of dark on the base. Shadow. Maybe a little darker green. Throw some grasses up. Kind of sets it down into the painting. Yeah, I sort of lost the edge over here. Let's want to add it. Alright, we've got our tree here. And how about Got a couple of rocks over here. Let's sort of those in. There's one. There's two. Oh, let's see. How about a third one here? A little one. I'm going to take my white just right across the top of it a little bit. Oh. Highlight. Go back to my dark, just sort of with the base. Kind of set it down. Go back to my greens. Add a couple glasses around the edges there. Let's see, I've got a dark, i got a black pen, and let me wet my hands a little bit. Let's go up to the sky, let's see, how about one, two, three little birds flying in. I think the only thing left now is to sign that. Oh, let's see, where's a good spot here? Right. 
wipe my hands real good. Take our mat. And as you can see, we're outside the painting. Okay, well, if we go this way, we got a lot of trees. We're sort of missing that. Tell you what, we can either get a bigger mat or maybe, what if I added another tree over here? pretty decent and I can always get a bigger mat if I need to but there's our finished painting hope you enjoyed it